For most of us, a visit to a restaurant is a chance to treat ourselves to good food and good company in a great atmosphere. Spare a thought then for these patrons who were trying to have a nice night out, only to have it ruined by the strange behavior of others, leading to the police being called in. Here are a few bizarre ways that people have been arrested in restaurants. Not a real emergency. Eating bad seafood has given many of us plenty of reasons to complain, though our complaints were probably more about the gastrointestinal after effects than the size of our servings. But one man in Stewart, Florida was arrested for misusing 911 by calling to complain about the size of the clams he had ordered. I was just speaking to a dispatcher and I was talking about my crabby seafood and I ordered something that it was extremely so small. The man called three times before police showed up and arrested him, though he was ultimately not taken to jail. Hopefully, he learned a lesson about not being so selfish about shellfish. Also charged for misuse of 911 was a woman in Alliance, Ohio, who complained to the emergency service about the Chinese food she had just picked up from her local restaurant. I have bought some Chinese food and it's not to par. The police determined that her substandard sweet and sour chicken was not a life-threatening emergency, and the woman was arrested after her real motives were revealed. We just spoke with the folks here at Main Moon who say McLeod ordered several different items from the menu, even ate some of them, paying with a credit card. But then she wanted cash back. Being gross doesn't pay. Diners in a Cape Coral, Florida fast food restaurant got an unpalatable performance in August 2011. For 10 minutes, a man dubbed the McDonald's Pimple Popper stood by the entrance of the food franchise and popped zits on his back. After receiving complaints from the deeply disgusted diners who were not loving it, the police arrived. Though the Pimple Popper was not charged for the gross act, he was eventually charged with driving without a license, resisting arrest, giving a false ID, and possession of drug paraphernalia. That's real life, folks. That really happened. I don't get it, <laughs> but you gotta love it. Extreme reaction. People really love their chicken nuggets. How do I look? Delicious. Golden brown is your color. One woman in South Hill, Washington loved them so much that she pulled a gun on the drive through attendant who served her one less than she was expecting. After complaining her drink was late and that there was something in it, she started getting irate. Then, discovering she was one nugget short, she threw her drink at the staff and started banging on the window when staff closed it. Before anyone knew what was happening, she had pulled out a handgun. Police arrested her in her home after tracking down the car, and the woman was later jailed. Animal Cruelty We've all felt frustrated with how we've been treated in a restaurant or coffee shop. Thankfully, people usually don't express that anger the way one man in Houston, Texas sadly did. Three months after being banned from a branch of Starbucks, the man retaliated while drunk by smashing a bottle on the ground before picking up a chihuahua and throwing it at the store. Despite suffering from head injuries, bleeding from the ears, and a broken leg, the dog fully recovered and was the recipient of a viral fundraising campaign by a local animal shelter. The same can't be said of the man who was jailed for animal cruelty. Breaking Bad Two residents of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, took their love of Breaking Bad to the extreme when they turned a utility room of their local Taco Bell into a meth lab. Justice finally met up with them when the Iowa police found the two men acting suspiciously in front of the Mexican fast food restaurant in the early morning. Busted! Cooking meth in a Taco Bell. Yum! When police moved into the restaurant, they found pieces of the pair's makeshift meth lab, leading to charges of conspiracy to manufacture methamphetamine for the pair and a possession charge for one of them. Management promised that the Taco Bell would be thoroughly sanitized before reopening. Extreme Measures for Free Food we all love a freebie, but few of us would ever go as far as one resident of Delray Beach, Florida. Across 10 days in September 2017, a Floridian visited 10 different restaurants and slipped glass into her own food in order to try and con each eatery into offering her free food. And what she was doing is, towards the time she was finishing her meal, she was then taking glass, cutting herself, and she was then blaming the glass on the food preparers. She eventually turned herself into the police, who arrested the glassy gourmet on a charge of scheme to defraud. Well, police say that suspect apologized and says it was like an adrenaline rush, and now she just wants to get this behind her and move forward. Pushing Nikki Hilton Step back in time by a decade to remember Nikki, sister of Paris, Hilton. Though most of Hilton's exploits have been lost to the era of MySpace and interviews with talk show hosts no one remembers, a weird restaurant-related story remains from February 2009. That's when Hilton made a citizen's arrest in a Hollywood branch of IHOP. Leaving the International House of Pancakes at 5 a.m., the so-called celebutante was pushed from behind, leading to her restraining the perpetrator until deputies arrived. There is a lesson to be learned from all this. Stay out of trouble. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.